Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Thursday, October 19th. I'm Christy Matino. We start this morning with the latest on the speaker vote. Congressman Jim Jordan will continue to try and wrangle in several Republican holdouts to support his speakership bid. Jordan again failed to secure the leadership position during a second round of voting on Wednesday losing the vote by a larger margin than the day before. Many Republicans are now calling for the party to come together. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee was one of them. You cannot have people in the Congress, every one of them thinking they're going to get it exactly their way. This isn't Burger King. You don't get it your way. Despite this controversy, Jordan has said he won't drop his bid and that he would bring the issue back to the floor for a third round of voting. And a large crowd of pro-Palestinian protesters broke out in the rotunda of the Capitol's Cannon House office building Wednesday afternoon. This led to multiple arrests from the United States Capitol Police, who told the Washington Examiner the amount of arrests was likely around 100. The group leading the demonstration called the Jewish Voices for Peace called for a ceasefire in Gaza amid the Israel-Hamas war. They describe themselves as Jews organizing toward Palestinian liberation and Judaism beyond Zionism. But Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene calls the protests an insurrection. She wrote to the U.S. Capitol Police Chief requesting he preserve all video surveillance footage of the House office buildings for October 18th. They don't want peace. They want, they Let want Gaza peace. live! Let Gaza live! And New York Attorney General Letitia James firing back at Donald Trump on Wednesday as he returned to his civil trial. He can call me names. He can engage in distractions. At the end of the day, um, Mr. Trump, unfortunately, his entire empire was built on nothing but lies. Her comments come after Trump said on Tuesday that James shouldn't be allowed to be attorney general. He's defrauded the public with this trial. Both Trump and James have attended the civil fraud trial this week, which accuses the former president and his sons of engaging in a decades long effort to inflate Trump's net worth. But Trump continues to deny any wrongdoing. We have all of the evidence on our side. They have nothing. And it's a case that should have never been brought. The former president is leading by large margins as the contender for the Republican presidential primary. Trump has called this civil fraud trial a witch hunt created by his Democratic opponents. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines turning in politics.